Welcome to the Dance Factor. With me tonight, I have my director, Jeff Ellen. I drug him out here from behind the cameras because he's a martial artist, a fourth degree black belt. So let's meet Jeff Ellis. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Hello, Ted. Really good. A little strange to be out in front of the cameras instead it of behind them? sure them. is, yeah. <laughs> but it's a lot different than being in that cubicle in there. Yeah, I know. You're out here still trying to direct. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you're a fourth degree black belt. But when you say trapping, flexation and trapping, what exactly does that mean? Well, trapping is closing in on your opponent, being able to trap his legs or his hips so he's off balance and can't move, where even his punches couldn't even be effective. In Hanchito, I like a person to grapple. I like someone to come in close to me. Mm -hmm. Or either that, I will uh, bridge the gap and come in close to them. I will use my hips and the back of my knees to trap or to even break a knee if, if uh, okay. the case may have to come to that. Is, this, is it a defensive move or is it an offensive move? You can't really define it as being uh, defensive or offensive. It just is. I see. Mm -hmm. You just do. You just do what's necessary without uh, letting your ego... Uh, you, you try to curve your ego to where you don't feel like you're better than anyone else or you're judging your opponent. Right. You actually don't want to hurt your opponent mm -hmm. ever. I see. Ways. Well, doesn't martial artists promote uh, well-being within? Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, some people think that the movements themselves create that well-being. It's a lot more deeper than that. Uh -huh. uh, martial arts is looked at in more of an external sense. Rather you know, than an internal. Rather than an internal sense. Oh. You know, movies, uh, Power Rangers, you know, this mm -hmm. sort of thing. Oh, I see. Well, now, uh, you also choreograph, is that right? Yes. I've done it ever since I was just a young kid. I used to do it in grammar school and get the kids together and do stunt fights. Well, what got you into that? Uh, I don't know. It's just sort of something I just, I can't understand it. It's always been there. It's been a part of me. I used to watch Batman and Robin, and when they do their pow, bam, wham, uh -huh. and I used to really like that. And even at the time, as young as I was, I knew it was entertainment. It wasn't real. So you were a director at a very little age of seven. All right, everybody line up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
you to stop snorting that crap. I don't want to have to use this, but he dies or you die. He dies. Man, you ain't shit. In show business, uh, you know, the way your body looks is very important. However, uh, it's just doing the, the movements and understanding how they work for you mm -hmm. as okay. opposed to looking good or being muscular. Muscles don't mean anything. Really? Martial arts, mm -hmm. absolutely not. It's mostly technique and flow and placement? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Center of gravity, uh, learning those things which are very important for the body uh, that you understand about yourself. Like, for example, someone might. Uh, do a side kick one way and still be effective as the other person who does it another way. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. But it's right. just that their body is different. Right. They carry their weight different, their bone structure is different, so it really depends. So it just is, um, you take on your own style then? Yes, I think everybody does. You have to cut the umbilical cord that hold, holds you to the dojo. Uh -huh. If you don't, then you really have no place to go. I see. You're, yeah, just, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're always there. You're never moving on, just like throwing the bird out the nest. Exactly. Uh -huh, they have to be on their own. But uh, it, a, lot of, a lot of classes do like to keep their students as long as they possibly can so they can learn as much as they possibly can. Right, right, and yeah. continue on. Right. But some do catch on earlier, and they will uh, leave earlier. Well, that's good. I mean, that means that you're learning a lot, and you yes. want to move on. Yes. Well, uh, you feel like showing me a few moves? Sure. Well, then let's go over to the demo area and do a few moves on martial arts okay. with Jeff Ellis. So, uh, Jeff, yes, what's the first step? Well, the first step is to remember that you can overstretch, and that's not really that good for you. Mm -hmm. it, it's best to just stretch a very comfortable position and stretch like you would if you're going to kick. Okay. So what I do is I only go <clears throat> lower chest high, middle abdominal region. And what I do is there's... Like if you can get a camera on my foot down here, yeah, I'll show you like the T-cross. Um, one is where your uh, toes are pointing toward uh -huh. your foot, okay. Okay. and then you always look up towards your toe and pull your toe back, and you can you know stretch and bring your chest down to your knee. Uh -huh. Another uh, muscles that are you you want to get are the side, and you want to work all these muscles all the way up through here. That's the hamstring. The hamstring area and the muscles that all. And anyway. Then you point your toe out straight. Okay. And then you stretch this way. And you can also bend the knee, which also gets uh -huh. another area of stretch in your leg, which is really feels good. It's very nice. And what I tell you, makes you feel it makes your legs feel very light when you stretch. Uh -huh. And then of course the last way is the final T, which is this, where you actually twist the hip over and you get all these hip muscles in the back and it's more of a balance. And you want to be able to keep yourself straight up. 
uh, and not lean from over. The hip area, right? Not from the foot. You don't right. really move the foot over. No. It's the hip, and the foot moves with that. Yeah, and the body sort of turns in right. in a natural way, natural body mechanics. When you do turn your foot, mm -hmm. your your mm -hmm. base foot. So I call that the T. I see. Kind of like a T cross. Do you stretch back at all? Your, uh, no, no. I I uh, sometimes just to warm up, I'll stretch in the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This okay. way. You know, but usually I've been doing it for years. The safest way to do it is to bend the knees and then come up. I see. Uh -huh. But I've been doing it for so long, it doesn't bother me. So <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't bother me anymore. Show us one of the basic moves in your in your form of martial arts. Okay, the first one that, that I show is if you would kind of get into like a fighting stance, mm -hmm. sort of. You know, just like this. There you go. Is what I try to do is whenever, like, let's say you go to punch. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of blocking, I would I would just shoot my leg in. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. See how that works? Yeah. It's kind of like a tap. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Right. To step heel. Yeah. <laughs> step heel. Yeah. The things. That's why I, I want to take that. One, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see. And then, of course, the way you would block it would be, or to protect yourself would be to twist the knee in and come up on the ball of your foot and oh, bend the knee right. forward. Uh huh. Right. See. And then it almost becomes like a little wrestling match, and it's really a lot of fun. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> so that's the first technique. The second technique. To that is this, is when you come in here, it's using the hip, pushing oh, the hip okay. aside. And then the second one, or the third one, would be to shove, push, and oh, to make maneuvers to get him out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, same as close combat. Uh huh. Fight choreography. Yes. Can you do something with me? Do some oh, fight choreography. Yeah. Let's, Easy. Let's set them, set them up. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's uh, an example. There are some scenes that you have to actually make some contact. Uh huh. So like a side kick. Okay. All I do instead of thrusting, you know, to you, uh -huh. okay, what I do is I just bring my... <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting he's the producer. Remember you're my director. <laughs> yes. But all it is, it's just setting the foot up and then the recoil. This uh -huh. way. And then, of course, you would react uh -huh. to it. Uh -huh. You see? So you would go... Uh -huh. Like this. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. there you go. Oh. Delayed reaction. That's what it was. Right. I'm just in such okay. good shape. I didn't even feel it. I got something we can do. I got something we can do. This is a. Okay. This is pure illusion. Uh -huh. This is pure illusion. Okay. If you stand right here. Oh, my back to the audience. No, sure. right there sideways. What I do is I'll pass my foot this far away. I'm going to be this far away. Okay. From your face. I hope he is. Okay. And th this is what's interesting about camera and no depth. Uh huh. So you can be safe. Okay. Now what I'll do is when I come around, I'll do... You break it, you pay for it. Okay. I'll do a spinning here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you'll go kind of forward. And while you're there, after I do the spin kick, I'll tap the floor, and then I'll just come up. Oh. And then you bring your head up. up. Oh, I see. You want to try it? Okay, sure. Let's do it a little bit slow. First. Okay, we'll do it slow. We okay, always do. I'm like this, okay. yeah. All right, we're go. dancing. Okay. Bam. There you go. And then... Oh. Back up. There you go. Okay. Real simple choreography move right All there. All right. Well, you want to try that then? Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. So ready? you just almost have to act like you're hit and then back up. Okay. You ready? Okay. And back. And that's all it is. Uh, and it's so far away. Oh, you get it does look real. Does that look real? It looked real, huh? Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was real good. Now, if you if you hit me, let's say... Uh, and put your fist right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right here to the side of my face right now, it'll look real. Yeah, see? Oh, that's that again. Good. Can I do that again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're enjoying right. this. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get it right the last time. <laughs> oh, 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 man. That fellow, my director. Okay. You learn when you're okay. learning. Yeah. All right. Perfection, you just kind of, you just do. That's great. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you very much. I really appreciate oh, you you're being welcome. on my show. Thanks for having me. You're a great director and a good martial artist, <laughs> let me tell you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for coming to see us at the Dance Factor. Once again, we've gotten through another week. Hey, this before. <laughs> gotten through another week, and I hope you've learned something about the martial arts, how to get into it, how old you can be when you go, and uh, remember that you have to work hard, you have to search. Searching is probably the most important thing. So uh, come back again next week and join us. We're the Dance Factor. Thank you for joining us. Good night.